Well, remember a few weeks ago, I showed you around my fishery down here in Wales. I'm going to show you now one of the most successful methods down here. Because the weather's gone cold, I've gone for a small hook, just a, a little twenties hook, with about a foot of line lay on the bottom, including the first shot. So about 10 inches from the hook, we've got that little tiny number 10 shot, and that'll be just laid on the bottom by a couple of inches. And then about 12 or 14 inches above that is a number eight shot. And about 15 inches above that is another number eight shot. Those are all the shot we've got down the line. We're fishing in about six foot of water. I'm actually fishing about seven foot deep with that line lay on the bottom. And I'm using just a little tiny peacock waggler with, as you can see, most of the shot, the lucky shot around the base of the float to give you the ease of casting. It's a very simple but very effective rig. Let's put a couple of maggots on and see how we go on. The bait we're going to use today are pinkies. You know, when the water's gone cold as it has with this east wind, then I find that a small bait like the pinky seems to work. These are multicolored, but my favorite color is a red, a white one in the middle to give it a bit of highlight, and another red. I mean, what self-respecting carp could refuse a bait like that. Let's get it out there and see what happens. Let's put it out there, farther than the feed area, rod end under the water, and then a few vicious turns on that reel just to sink that line, and pull it right back. You sit on the butt of the rod, you put a pouch full of pellets right on that float, like that. In fact, we'll give it a double dose, two pouch, pouchfuls of pellets right on the float, and why not just a few pinkies as well. Well, look at that real spin round. This water is fishing better than I expected it would. You know, with this cold wind, I thought it would have been much harder. And I've gone for quite a fine line, you know, a pound and a half line. Keeping the rod low, and you can actually pull the fish, then wind down to it. The fish is going right to the left now, so I'm going to swing the rod right over, still maintaining that tight line and try and make it swim back this way. And it is. Sometimes you can lead these fish like a dog on a lead. And sometimes they'll run off. And I always like to have the reel on backwind so the handle can turn backwards if they run off at speed. <laughs> He's mine. Yeah, that's a bonny common carp. Yeah, it was a beautiful fish, and you know, the barbless hook rule every one of the mouths in this fishery are all absolutely perfect. I hate to see fisheries where the, the mouths of the fish are all ripped and torn. You know, you can go back and one day be a real big one. Right, I shall just try and catch you one more, and then we'll finish on a, on a good, good note. Well, this is typical September weather, October weather. You know, they say the leaves are turning, the sun doesn't know whether to shine or not. One minute it's as dull as can be, next minute it's blinding in your left eye, but who cares when the fish are feeding like this? There we go. There we are, a nice little mirror carp. You know, and this water is absolutely stuffed with fish like this, of this size. Let's get him right back in the water. Well, there you are, a simple rig and yet very effective. It is important to get that bait still on the bottom and by increasing the depth and laying the line on the bottom of that first shot, you can see just how effective it is. Hope you've enjoyed it, so from me till next time, Tight lines.